Hey y'all, I just got home from work and I'm about to edit the content that you guys are about to see today. I just wanna apologize for not uploading in a while. Um, you guys haven't seen me in about two weeks since Ramadan, since Eid. Just wanted to let you know that all is well. I've really been in my feelings about life and contemplating life and that's why I haven't really been motivated to record anything or edit anything. But I'm back, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy! Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Demi. So you guys said that you wanted the weekly vlogs to continue. So they are continuing. Um, I'm a bit out of breath right now because I am outside getting my exercise. I'm doing this new thing where I go for a walk like for 30 minutes to an hour every day or when I can just because I'm trying to get this weight in order. I don't know if you guys seen my last vlog. That was my Eve vlog. I was telling you about how I be having problems with my body and this, that, and the third and blah, blah, blah. So I'm on the road to being healthy. Oh, I'm just coming up on 25 minutes of walking right now. I said I would go to 30 just to start it slow to get back into exercising. Um, I feel like walking is a great way to start exercising just because it's not too much pressure. It's just like, okay, I'm gonna go for a 15 minute walk. Okay, you know what? I'll walk for 15 minutes, let's do 20 minutes. And then maybe I'll start going to the gym. I don't know. I mean like, I like being active, but I don't really like working out. It's a love and hate relationship. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go to the mall later on today just to get some sweatpants because I hate how all my sweatpants are either super homeless or too freaking tight. So hopefully I uh, won't be too tired for my little walkie walk and I'll go to the mall and get that. So I'll talk to y'all later because I am out of breath. Well, hopefully y'all can see that today is the next day. I went to the mall. That was a hot mess. I'll show y'all what I got from the mall later. But today I'm about to show y'all how I make my steak. Now I'm not a great cook. Y'all know this already, so don't come for me. But I found out a master steak recipe that I love so much. So I'm going to be sharing that with you guys today. And also, I got a new waffle maker. It was my birthday, May 6th. That's my birthday. And my sister bought me a waffle maker. So I'm super excited to use it today. Um, I'll also show you guys what else I got for my birthday. But let's get into this steak, honey. So this is what I bought. Nothing fancy. Like, I'm not, I'm not about to be spending all this money on some fancy steak if I'm not, I'm not gonna cook it well. So this is what I bought. We about to season it and marinate it. The key to great steak I just learned is marination, okay? This is a marinade that I'm using and it says 30 minutes, but I'm probably gonna do like three or four hours just because all of it needs to be all in my steak, okay? So let me show y'all the seasonings I use. So here it is, all evenly marinated. Right now it's about 12.30, so by like six o'clock, it'll be ready to go. Moving on from that, my sister was so nice enough to get me a waffle maker for my B-Day. Here it is, I've always wanted a waffle maker and I definitely love waffles as opposed to pancakes because I love crunchy food and the crunch of waffles are just so freaking good, so. Let's get started with that, but y'all know I'm extra. Y'all know I'm extra. Y'all know I'm freaking extra. So I'm not just making regular, regular pancakes. I, ooh, I saw this post on Facebook that said that you can make pancakes from these little packets. All you have to do is use two thirds cup of milk, one egg, it'll make six pancakes. I don't know how that translates to waffles, but we gonna try it out. I don't know why my lip look weird. Like maybe I have some foundation on it but it look ashy. <laughs> anyway, we are starting this experiment with blueberry muffins, AKA pancakes, AKA waffles. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, the pour to 
this waffle iron is so short that <laughs> I have to make my waffles in my living room because this is the only place where I can plug it in and it can sit on something. But anyways, let's get started. So this is the pancake mix that I'm using just so you guys can see the consistency of it. And let's get to pouring. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to pour in here, but I definitely don't want to over pour it because I don't want it to like, you know, overflow. And I did exactly what I said I wasn't gonna do, which is over freaking fill it. Oh my gosh, this is a hot mess. Anyways. Here we are. Look at the mess I made! And I hate that the little grill part doesn't come out so you could clean it. I don't like that. But, um, yeah, I guess when the waffles are done, this will turn green. I mean, um, it has this lever that says medium or max, not really a time period. Look at it oozing out! Oh my gosh, this is a whole uh, mess, y'all. <laughs> Oh my god, this is going to be a headache to freaking clean up y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at it smoking. Why is it smoking like that? Look at the blueberries y'all. This is something. This is really freaking something like, ugh. This is, oh my gosh, it's just oozing out. Ugh. This is going to be a disaster to clean up. Okay, so the light just turned green. That means they should be ready. It's still smoking. Let's see. How am I supposed to open it? Okay. Ooh, this joint is hot. Okay. Ooh. Oh my God! This joint won't even open. Oh, there it is. And they burn! I do not like no waffles this burn. They are burnt! Oh my gosh. I'm so mad, y'all. Ghetto. How do I even take this out? Like, how am I supposed to take this out? This is so ghetto. I'm about to cry. I know I'm a cry baby, right? In case I didn't tell y'all. The girl is a cry. How am I supposed to take this out? <laughs> how am I supposed to take this out? So ghetto. I'm never using this again. I'm sorry. If y'all want a waffle maker, let me know. But this is ghetto. This is ghetto. What the heck? This is so ghetto. Oh, it's coming out. Oh, it's hot. Like, how are you supposed to take this out? Oh my gosh. Here are the waffles, y'all. These are the waffles. Look at this. These are the freaking waffles. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully these won't be burnt. Hopefully these won't be burnt. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna check on it. After two minutes, I'm gonna set a timer and then I'll check on it. Is it normal that it's supposed to be making noise like this? Well, I wanna open this. Okay. Wow, it looks so burnt. Is this how waffles make in the waffle oven? Burnt like this? Like, how am I supposed to get this out? Okay. I mean, this one looked better than the last one I made, so. This one looks a lot better than the last one I made. And this is what we got. This is the second waffle. <laughs> this is the second waffle. So this is how everything came out. Um, the eggs, let's get to the eggs. They look so cheesy and wonderful. Now the secret to some good cheesy eggs is make sure you use real cheese, not that package stuff. Make sure you go to your local poppy store, mommy store, corner store, and get you bottles worth the American cheese, okay? Cause that fake cheese, it ain't gonna do like this cheese did. But yeah, these are the waffles and I'm not really feeling how they're looking, but let's see how they taste. Talking about my scarf, cause this is my house scarf. But anyways, so before we eat, one thing I gotta do 
It's put syrup on everything. The eggs, the sausage, all of that. Everything gets syrup, okay? Do y'all do that? Do y'all fill y'all whole plate up with syrup? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> so let's try these waffles that I'm not pleased with aesthetically. Um, they're not even hardly crunchy. Like I told y'all I like crunchy food. They're not even really crunchy, but let's just see. They're good. They're waffles. But they're not really crunchy. Like I was really going for like a ego type of thing. And these these ain't got nothing on egos, okay? Egos are way better. Let me know how can I make my waffles more crunchy. I don't like how dark they are. I don't know. I mean, they don't taste burnt, but I just wish that they were more crunchy. So I'll talk to y'all later. So it is steak making time. All I do is um, cook it on both sides for two minutes and that's it. And I hold it on better. That is it, honey. I'll let y'all know how it tastes. This is the food, the steak, of course. These are my healthy yams, just mashed up yams with salt, pepper, with salt, pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, honey, and a little bit of coconut cream. Coconut cream sounds weird, but it's actually really good. It just boosts the sweetness without adding sugar and peas. I add Cajun seasoning to them and they are so good. They are so good. be so proud of me okay i just had the most productive day ever i went for a walk i played tennis i did my practice my skating and i did my laundry i am having the most productive day ever with that being said i want to just show you the sweatpants that i got from old navy y'all know i said i wanted some sweatpants that wasn't super homeless or super tight that had me look like i was super thick gum so let me show y'all what i got from old navy so this is them and you know what? I'm gonna put a whole body right here just so I can see the whole thing because y'all know I could never configure it. But I like them because they're not super tight and they have pockets. They don't have me double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon, even though today's Wednesday. But they're super loose and you know, they're comfy. They're so comfy, guys. These are at Old Navy. I go to their website, grab y'all some regular regular sweatpants, y'all. And I got some of these. They're so cute. These are high-waisted cargos. I got them in three colors. Y'all gonna see the colors right here. But this material, this material is so nice. I don't even know what kind of material this is, but you know, keep you dry. Stretch tech, that's what it's called, stretch tech. And it's quick dry, four way stretchable, for breathable. I got them in a size large. And they have pocket, back pocket, cargo pocket. And they're like, you know, cup at the ankle, what I really like. So these were $25 as well. And they're so freaking cute. I love them, I really love them. And I should have worn them today, but I will let y'all know how they are for actually working out in. I think I made a really good choice. Hey y'all, so the last part of this vlog is I wanted to show you guys what I got for my birthday. My birthday recently passed and I didn't do anything special. There's no birthday vlog coming out. I actually had to work on my birthday, so there's that. But I did get a lot of gifts and I just wanna show you guys some of the things that I got. All these gifts are my favorite. Like all of them are my absolute favorite and they were so freaking thoughtful. I just love all of them. So the first thing I got was this little thing right here. And it is actually bath bombs with a bunch of essential oils. I've never used a bath bomb before, so I'm super excited about it. So this is Sunset Light Rose Essential Oil. Let's open it up and throw it in there. Here it is, and I just wanna say, y'all, this joint smells so good. Anyway, three, two, one, kaboom! Okay. It's a kaboomin. It's kaboomin. It's kaboomin. I was looking for more of a effect, but this is okay too. <laughs> this is the water now and it looks a bit icky. So I'm gonna add some bubbles and hop right in. I mean, it smells amazing, but I 
need my bubbles, y'all. And I love baths. Like one thing about me, I love a good bath. I love a bubble bath. Baths are my absolute favorite. So I'm super excited to use this. And they smell so freaking good. Like there's lavender in here, there's lemon, there's rose, and another one, I think. But these joints smell so good and I'm so excited to freaking use them. I don't know where they got them from, so I can't even like recommend you guys where to get them, but they might be on Amazon. I'm not gonna check because I don't wanna see the prices of any of these gifts. I just wanna enjoy my freaking gifts. Um, the next thing that I got is this, and these are my new legs. <laughs> uh, so one thing about me is that I'm super pigeon-toed and I'm super knock kneed so I've been like this since I was a little girl. That's kind of put a strain on my knees and on my legs just because they're not aligned properly. Like I was telling y'all in my e-blog that I can't really wear heels because my feet aren't properly balanced and things like that. So these are leg massagers with heat. So basically you put this on. So this is the foot part and it tells you that it is the left foot. So I'm just gonna stick your foot in like that. Then you wanna put it on like this on that calf, turn it around. It heats up on the knee, so you wanna make sure that this part is on your knee, like this. And now you have the whole leg done. And let's do this leg. And now it has a timer for 20 minutes. You can't change the amount of time that it is, but it has some heat on the knee and you can change the intensity. So you could just turn it up for the intensity to go up. You're not really gonna be able to see the um, compression, I don't think, but it is definitely compressing and it feels so amazing. I think this will be great if you work out. After a workout, this is gonna feel super good on your freaking legs. And you can even like tighten it as tight as you can just so that it gets a good compression. And it has a little switch, or switch, it has a little switch right here, and it'll compress your legs. Like it'll squeeze, 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 and compress, and it heats up at the knee. Like, I think this is for old people, but I really benefit from this because sometimes I feel like my legs don't get the circulation that they need. And I actually went to the doctor to see like what's wrong with my legs. And they told me nothing was wrong with them, but they be hurting sometimes, sometimes uncomfortable just because like my legs aren't aligned, if that makes sense. So I really love this. If you guys are pigeon toed and have problems with your feet or anything. I've actually used this already and I love it so much. It just squeezes and it feels so freaking good. Like I love a good massage. So this was a very, very thoughtful gift. The next thing that I have is this. This is heavy. I didn't even open this one yet, but this is an ear purifier. And I need this because one thing about having a cat, yeah, I know I got princess. I'll put a picture of her somewhere in case you guys don't know princess, but she sheds so freaking much. This cat sheds so much. Like I could probably make a new cat with the amount of fur that she freaking sheds. Like she sheds so much. Like her hair is normally every freaking wear and it's so annoying. It's in the air, it's on my clothes, it's on the couch. But this is supposed to get rid of the animal hair in the ear. Um, I had mentioned to my cousin that I wanted one of these and I had mentioned how the cat hair is all over the place and she was so generous to buy me one. So thank you so much. I can't wait to show you guys how it works and if it really works, but I'm really excited for this. This is going right in my living room. So if you guys got a pet that shed a lot, you feel like your air is tainted, get you an air purified girl or tell somebody to buy you one. <laughs> Last but not least, my next favorite thing, speaking of how I love massages and things like that, even though I've never really gotten a formal massage, like I've never gotten a professional massage done, but anyways, I got a foot spa, look! I got me a foot spa and it massages and it has bubbles and heat. Okay, here it is in action. We got some bubbles going. Here is the temperature of the water. Um, let's press this vibration button. Okay, let's press it again. 
Oh, no, we want the vibrations. Yeah, start that vibrations up. Um, let's get some bubbles going. Okay, we got some bubbles going. Let's press it again. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm super excited to use this because like I said, my feet are broken. Like my feet are out of control. So I definitely need anything that I can to get some relief on my feet. And I'm really excited to use this. I'll definitely let you guys know how I like it and what's going on with that. But thank you guys so much for watching my little vloggy vlog. And thank you guys so much for watching my E video. Um, some of you guys already wished me a happy birthday on that video. So thank you for all the love. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like, don't you want to be homies? You know you want to be homies. Subscribe to the channel. Join the fam. Let's get acquainted. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.